guys. Roger at CU Scrapping. Um, a lot of times I see people on the, oh, the Facebook groups, uh, some of the blogs that I belong to. Um, I think probably the most common question is, how do I tell my cast aluminum for my die cast? Um, you know, a lot of that comes from experience. I've been doing this for 30 years. Um, but even I get fooled. Uh, my scrapyard uh, was the one that introduced me to this idea. It is absolute foolproof. Uh, take just regular crystallized uh, septic root killer. Uh, I use a Zep because um, that's what's available around here. Um, and it's a uh, get it at any hardware store. Uh, it's just a, a blue crystal. Uh, you put it in your septic tank to kill roots. Uh, but the other thing it does is if you take a teaspoon of that and put it into a spray bottle and fill the rest with water, just regular tap water, uh, you end up with this light blue liquid. And we've got a variety of things here a piece of a towel holder, uh, exterior cover for a electrical outlet. Um, uh, install ring for a garbage disposal, uh, a burner from a, from a gas grill, a uh, piece of a bathroom vanity faucet, and an old, uh, lamp base. Uh, let's start with the old lamp base. Now, a lot of people would look at that and feel the weight of it and think, oh, I got brass. Well, first of all, uh, before you do this trick, you need to grind each, each of your pieces. And once you grind this, I don't know if you can tell in the light here, there it is, you can see it's silver. So it's definitely not brass. So now, uh, you know, I can tell by the weight that it's die cast. Uh, but if you wanted to confirm that, you take your spray bottle and let's see and spray that spot and you see it goes black almost instantly goes black that's die cast um, when it goes black it's die cast now for something like the uh, burner off a grill and I you know there again by weight I can tell that it's cast aluminum so you, you grind, grind your spot there it is and you spray it and you see nothing happens it stays silver that's cast aluminum uh, works works every time uh, there again you think a plumbing fixture you probably think it's chrome brass well when you when you grind it you can see it still stays, stays silver Spray it with your solution, and it instantly goes black. That's die cast. Uh, the towel rack, uh, same thing. You might think it's brass because of the weight. Uh, I've got the spot ground there, and it goes black. That is die cast. Uh, same thing with the electrical outlet. Electrical outlets, I have found usually are probably 75 percent die cast but 25 there's a good portion of these that are are uh, cast aluminum so I, I usually test all of my electrical just just to be sure so see the ground spot there spray it and it goes black so that is also die cast and the install ring for the garbage disposal stay silver so that is cast aluminum but that is that is by far the 100% foolproof way um, 
I have found. Now, the other thing it will identify that I don't have here is magnesium. Uh, magnesium is also fairly hard to tell, even, even as long as I've been in the business. It's so similar to cast aluminum in weight. Um, now, magnesium, when you add the, the chemical to it, will bubble. Um, re regular cast aluminum won't bubble. Magnesium will bubble. So, a teaspoon, a teaspoon of the Zep Root Killer, spray bottle of water, um, cast aluminum will do nothing. It will stay shiny, stay silver. Die cast will turn black, and magnesium will bubble. That is 100% foolproof, and you'll never have any problems at the yard. I um, hope this helps a lot of you out, and I'll see you in the next video.